So, do you see this church is going to the right direction, right? Yes. And you have seen effort, right? Yes. And uh, what do you see of the people, of the pastor? His passion for God. The passion for God, uh, okay. Yes. And what else? Growth. Growth. There is growth. Thank God. So there is helping people. Do you see care here? Yes. 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 Thank God. And then are they following the word of God? Yes. 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 So this church is going the right direction, right? Do you want to put your heart here? Yes. And build up the church stronger yes. and stronger? Yes. And then when you build up the church, what would God look at you and say? What would he say to you? Well done, well done good and faithful servant. So he'll like that. And when God likes what you do, what will happen to you? He'll bless you. So when you seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and he'll pour these blessings upon you. Now each one of you might do something different. But does it matter? No. Some of you might be doing small things. Does it matter? No. So as long as you are willing, first you have the heart. Yes. And then you love God, have the relationship with God. Do you have a living relationship with God? Yes. Wonderful. Now the fact that you are having a living relationship with God means that the pastor is doing a good job. Amen. That you are having a good relationship with God. That Amen. He is helping you Amen. to have that living relationship with God. Amen. So when you have this living relationship with God, how does God feel about that? He's happy and he treasures you and he wants to raise you up to a higher level, right? Yes. And then when you put in any effort, even a cup of cold water, what would he do? He will reward you, right? Amen. And then when you're willing to do more, you really say, yes, I want to try to do something. You want to encourage someone and you, you comfort the person, the person is comforted. You want to preach the gospel, and then you bring more people. You want to worship God, and then you find whatever you find to do, and you do. You see a few changes. First, people are blessed, right? Yes. And then God will be happy with you, and you'll be happier. Amen. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. So each one of you has a different gift. Yes. A different direction, does it matter? No, but when joined together, when joined together, so I encourage you what you can do. Write, hope you can write, if you cannot, then you can record. Write what are your gifts, what you like to do for the church, what you can commit. Now, even if you really cannot commit, sometimes it's okay, but you can commit to do certain things. Write down. It will be encouragement to you. Mm -hmm. And then you can give to the pastor. Now this is what I like to do. And then gather together. The core team. Gather together and have more training. One time can be training on encouraging people. Training on evangelism. Training on worship. Training on preaching the word of God. And then different times training different things. And praying for people. And then gradually you can do it better and better. And then have reports every time have reports. What have we done this week and then how it is and we don't have to be better than the other person. Whatever we do is good and whenever someone says he has done something, what do we respond? How do we respond? Well done. You are doing well. That's wonderful to have you here serving God. So whatever people say we're encouraged. That way each one is going up more and more. So that is building up the core and it's very important for the pastor to know your heart. Right? When he knows a heart, then he can gather you together. And I think that this is more important than many other meetings. So if it's possible to have one meeting of the serving team, that you gather together and talk about it and then serve and come back and share uh, what are the success and what are the difficulties and your pressure. Come back and share and then the pastor and the other people can pray for you. Because in ministry, you'll have difficulties Amen. and you come back to share and then the pastor will pray for you. And also one thing you can consider is cell groups. Now, uh, in my church here and then also before, after the church and then we have cell groups, small groups. And then people discuss what the pastors just talked about. Uh, some of the difficulties and how to apply that and then talk about it and then, then you can help them spiritually. 
Like today, we talk about prayer. Now, how's your prayer life? And how and have you got strength from prayer? And how can you have more strength from prayer? So they apply, and in the process, you know, understand where they are, and then help them spiritually. That way, you are ministering already. So you need to be practiced. You need to be trained to be good cell leaders. So it might take some time to train them to be cell leaders. How to respond to people, not with a lot of teaching, but with listening Amen. and appreciation Amen. and uh, really remembering their needs and responding to people's needs. That way, so you might find out who are the good leaders, cell group leaders. Some of them have gifts in certain areas. Doesn't mean that they're good in cell some group leaders. That's one way to motivate more people. And then you can bring your friends to your group. Bring your friends to your group. And then you follow up on them. Care about them. And help them grow spiritually. And then eventually when a group is too large, then split up into two groups. So that's one way everyone can serve God. That way, one day when you see Jesus, Jesus will not just say, Pastor, you're doing well. But he'll say, Every one of you are doing well. Do you like yeah. that? Yeah. Do you think you can do it? Yeah. Is it too difficult? No. no, not too difficult. So you can start to enter some kind of ministry, right? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you happy with that? Yes. Tell the next person, next person, you can do great things for God. Hallelujah. So this is how we can enter that motivate people and then listen to them and then find out where they are. Sometimes they have difficulties. Listen to them, pray for them, care for them. Don't just send them to the ministry, but pray for them, care for them, so that each one feel careful and then have strength. And then you care for the people. 